Well, I think we're really at an inflection point in the maturation of programmatic. I would say the last 10 years, the last decade of programmatic has really been characterized by open market bidding and direct response advertising within the programmatic channel. And then future really lies with brand advertising. If we look out four or five years, brand advertising is about a $50 billion programmatic opportunity, whereas direct response advertising will be a roughly $20 billion opportunity. So a huge transformation that's coming, and I think a lot of the discussion points in the industry today about auction dynamics, about uh, transparency, about quality, about fraud, all of these things are, you know, we can really trace them back to the change from direct response uh, to brand advertising. One of the key changes that we see and that we're innovating behind is new high impact ad formats. So things like native and video now coming into the programmatic channel. At the same time, we have a massive explosion of data. Right? So the amount of data that's being processed, uh, that's being analyzed, that's being used to drive more relevant ads for consumers. And so as a technology company uh, for Pumatic, we have a huge focus on how do we continue to innovate around very efficient and high scale transaction and data processing. I think this is going to be key to anybody who wants to have a long term stake in the advertising technology game. Yeah, I think the buy side is doing a great job, uh, particularly in the last 12 to 18 months, about articulating what are their requirements and what are their needs to participate in the programmatic ecosystem. And you know, Mark Pritchard uh, kicked that off at the beginning of this year by putting some pretty clear stakes in the ground in terms of expectations for the entire advertising ecosystem around transparency, around fees, around quality, you know, all of the, the hot topics that many companies have been focused on, including Pubmatic, not only this year, but uh, over the last several years. Uh, and so I think it's great that we have a clear point of view, uh, and now it's, it's incumbent upon us as a technology provider to make sure that we're building capabilities and building processes that allow our publishers uh, and buyer customers to meet those requirements. Yeah, I think what buyers are looking for is Full transparency around an ad, which is who is the consumer that's going to see this ad? Are they actually going to see the ad? What is the site or the app that this ad is going to appear upon? Uh, and then let me bid and buy it uh, accordingly. And so I think one of the, the issues that we have is uh, that not everybody is transparent about what is it that, uh, that the advertiser is actually buying. And we've always had a belief, and in fact, one of the reasons why we pioneered real time bidding uh, seven or eight years ago is that. The more information we can provide about an ad impression, the more value we can help the ecosystem capture. That's from a consumer perspective with a more relevant ad, it's from an advertiser perspective in terms of finding what they're looking for, and it's from a publisher perspective in terms of driving more revenue for that ad. And so we've been innovating very hard in this area. And in fact, we have a, a campaign running now called Let's Be Clear, and it's really about inviting that conversation with all of the stakeholders in the ecosystem to talk about all of the different aspects around transparency.